How can I be of service, Captain? Welcome aboard the UC Vigilance. Did you have any questions before I escort you to the Commander? I'm not authorized to divulge information about this vessel. Suffice to say, it's one of the toughest ships in the UC's arsenal. Yeah, listen to him. Carefully. The Commander's a one-and-done kind of officer. In other words, he hates to repeat himself. Other than that, just observe standard military decorum, and it should keep you from serving any time on the ship's cleaning detail. Of course, if you'd follow me, please. So, you're the vanguard that took down that Terramorph on Tau City. You've made quite an impression around here. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Damn, that must have been one hell of a firefight. I almost regret missing out on all the fun. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the Vigilance, but we have our moments. Excuse me. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. I believe we have something important to discuss. Ah, there you are. Commander Kibwe Kande, UC Sistev. Glad to have you aboard. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Tuala's offer. It appears he certainly picked the right person for the job. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center, dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information. weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia. So you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. We move quick around here. Better get used to it. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. 
I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the... I don't want promises. I'm just asking you to think. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant To. Now, get out of here. Good luck. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place. As long as you can distinguish between surviving and thriving, look, I can see that you're struggling. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve, use your instincts. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities when you feel you've got beyond that. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years. She's shrewd and she's diligent. I'm afraid she's the best... ...as you were. Pardon. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? You better make it, because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No, it's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you... All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. That should do it. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. <sighs> That's a fine point, but in my defense, I was under orders to make sure we weren't pulling some kind of psycho into the mix. And honestly, there are far bigger things at stake than my personal feelings towards the Crimson Fleet. Let's just... Stick to the job at but uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? 
We'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is... If you're feeling particularly ruthless, you could... I'll be here if you have any more questions. Yes? What? Yes? Howdy. Hello. Okay. Hello. Accept. Goodbye for now.
Enjoy your stay. In If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Octai and Bayar. He's the head of our Sidonia branch. If you want to do some trading, he's the one you need to be talking to. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Listen, love, I've heard it all. Threats bounce right off, so either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. <laughs> you must be new at this game, love, so I'm gonna let that one slide. In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged, even if... You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Life ain't easy, but it pays the bills. <clears throat> hey. Unless you're a Demos employee, I can't really help you. Hello there. Ah. I'm Leona Hawks, Demos Styard's corporate. Okay, ladies. Drinks? Don't have to ask me twice. Oh! <laughs> have you been there? Let's go and try to meet What? Oh, heavens no. Um, how I... Okay. But, but I... But, oh my... Phil Hill, I... Yes, it rhyme. My siblings are named Phil. But there I go again. You're here to talk. Great! 
What can the League of... Or as I like to say, how can I help me? That's terrific! This stack of... These are just... Everywhere I go, I've got... <laughs> Not to work. We're looking for folks with ships and... I don't suppose you possess either. You know, I can tell... Most importantly, we need to collect... Secondly, we're all... I'm pretty sure... <sighs> but just know, the offer... If you change your mind... Hello, traveler. Will you join me for a while? You str Some other time, then. Howdy. Hello. <clears throat> hey there. I heard they reopened that Red Devil's HQ. Even got some of the same crew running it. The miners have a secret about something they call the Heart of Mars. I overheard one of them talking about it. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Right down to business! And no small talk. I like it. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. What do I need to do here? Write you an instruction manual? You can do this loud, you can do this quiet. I don't care. I just want my goddamn money, and I want this guy to remember who he screwed over. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the table. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most... I was just thinking about you. I can help you with? Hey, slow down. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. <clears throat> of course I owe money. Unless you're independently wealthy. Everyone's in debt nowadays. I owe Deimos. I owe my landlord. I owe Galbank. Heck, I have a tab at Parsec Deep at Sespear. It's an endless list. So why don't you just leave me here? Let me get drunk and find someone else to bother, okay? Uh, what? Uh, play what games? You're obviously confusing me with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. Uh, hey, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, 
Wait, you mean I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check? Uh, well? I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Sure, I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven-day shift. I don't know. Uh, well, I might be able to cash in a few of my Deimos shares. I suppose. It's just that, well, I, I didn't have much of a choice. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. I'm stopping to chat. Something for me? There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Well, damn. If you want to make a name for yourself in this racket, you can't pull any punches. Still, you got my credits back, so it's not a complete loss. You know. If you like this kind of work, I can, you think you can handle it. <laughs> I'm interested. Come on. You're not shopping for real estate here. I'm offering you a crack at some real money. So can you handle it or what? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Yes. 